Upper bracket final. Moon versus Colorful. A player's Moon on the right back. in the yellow with the bottom. Colorful with the Demon Hunter. Ancient of War over at the Merc, but the Demon starts off creeping the green. Well, that's interesting. And Claws of Attack. That is phenomenal. Colorful's Island Drops today have been pretty crazy. So, bottom means hunts. And not just a few hunts, but a lot of hunts. Oftentimes also with expansions. Moon is a mastermind. He is a god. He is a legend. He is a fifth, the fifth race. Most successful player Warcraft 3 has ever seen. Every Night Elves role model. Yes, guys, I know it's Bulgarian Moon. Well, it's not really, but you know how it is. Oh, wow. What a scout by Colorful. A Holy crap. Are under attack. Moon realizes, all right, I guess that's a cancel. Boots are staff on the demon. Staff. Eh. I would have preferred boots, but okay. So, where are those hunts, eh? Only one. The player's forces are under attack. Pretty the fast tech over here. Siege. But more hunts will certainly be coming. Creeps woken up. Ancient of War in a bit of trouble. Demon Hunter not looking so effective at the moment. Might be able to steal one item away up here, but certainly does not want to lose his Ancient of War. Fought him with the aggro, shadow melt, shenanigans. Make it some pretty cute plays. Woo! He even gets the experience and the next item. That's double claws of attack. Hells yeah. Would love to see him buy gloves of haste now. Oh my god, look at those swipes! Look at those swipes! Expansion. Tech is, of course, faster for colorful. Going to tier 2 without a Hunter's Hall. Whoa, that Hunter's Hall is very far forward. Hunts could have perhaps tried to commit, but I guess the archers were around, wouldn't have worked. A player's forces are under attack. But the demon progress certainly slowed down. Still far, far away from level 3. Pardon First has been extremely popular lately in Night of Mirror. Either for pushes or for expos. A player's four towns are under attack. How bad would it be to go Immolation instead of Mana Burn on level 2? Can that be somewhat okay against Hunts? It's probably not a good idea though, right? It's probably a bad idea. <laughs> I guess once the Demon gets to 3, the Mana Burn is pretty good. Against the Naga, perhaps even kind of against the bottom. A player's forces are under attack. A town is under siege. It's only two hunts. Only two hunts by moon into giants. Oh! Wait, that's a third huntress, right? Yeah. Third huntress. Third huntress does finally get the engine of war kill. Guess what? That means no easy creep of the Merc camp. 
And Tinker Second with Pocket Factory again. We're seeing this quite a bit recently against the Mass style. Mass Hunts, Mass Giants with Potter. Wisp sees. Oof! That was a long range swipe here by the Tree of Life. Sees the expansion. I'm sh sure you've seen it before. A player's got forces it. are under attack. But knows the timing now of it moving over. Demon is not continuing to creep at all. One XP away. My goodness. So the expo is coming up, and that's pretty much the win condition. What's Colorful's response? Are you gonna try to counter expand, or will this be a push? Dryad's coming. Do we have bears also? Yep. Single dryad only. Oh, and that one gets ensnared. That's a big yikes. Oh. Damn those trappers. Those trappers just ruined Colorful's day. TP? What? Because of the level 1 demon hunter, he TP's home? What? The timing of his entangled is so important to him. Quite surprising. A player's forces are under attack. Dryads, searing arrow, cold arrow, lots of focus fire potential for Moon. And he hasn't lost any units yet. The three dryads from the early still alive. And now scrolls going to moon as well. Did he get double heal scroll? He sure did. Invol is still in the shop. Moon not interested in that one. And I'm sure we're gonna have a big ass army very soon here. Upgrades coming in for the dryads. Thick and fast. Our players' forces are under attack. Gonna be one one here very quickly. Maga's gonna get to three. Bottom. She's lacking behind a little bit. Level three on her, of course, is way more important. But she's also very close. All right, here we go. This is the big push. This is kind of all in by colorful. No counter expansion. Nothing. Moon goes into upkeep now. 56 supplies. Still lots of gold to spend, actually. And Moon is coming in for a bit of a flank. Not coming in with the backup of his Moon Wells, but from the other side. Why are all these archers hurt already? A well placed Fog Lightning could lead to quite a few kills. There is one Fog Lightning ready. Unless there's a burn. No burn. Ah, oh, she wants that Fog Lightning so bad, and booyah! Zap! Pretty much two kills right away. Engine of War, not helping out too much. Pocket Factory expires. Field Scroll keeps that Dryad alive as well. Moon, the best Dryad micro player in the world. We see it here once again. Hunters is also nicely kept alive. A Heal Scroll now would be sick. No, no, no. no. He wants to get more value. He wants to get so much value off of this Heal Scroll. Oh, the pot of. Oh, Heal Pot first. Heal scroll is still available. He doesn't even need the heal scroll. Seemingly easy defense for Moon. Takes out one more bear. We'll get a bit more experience from this pocket factory. And now 68 supply. Did he actually lose only one dryad? Or was that... Sick hold by Moon. Sick, sick, sick hold by Moon. Ah, he's so good. He's so good.
That looks like a very desperate attempt of a counter expansion. Moon goes back towards the middle. This should be certainly another heal score for him. Maybe two? No, only one. Second one's on cooldown for another minute or so. Moon's gonna get the cancel off the expo. Does have a TP as well. And this should be the knockout punch right here. I think the TP's gonna be here. Okay, that was wrong. A little more defensively. One Ancient of Lore was lost, but losing production buildings only really hurts if you have to keep up production. Which Moon doesn't really need to. He's up a base. There's no target for him he needs to assault right now. He's still got tons of army. He can even go into more upgrades. Are under attack. Dryads are 2-1 already. Could be getting more. 27 supply lead. This looks all but over. Oh, can you kill a hero here? There's no boots on this demon. With a double slow. Three staff. Don't get him out. And Moon is going tier three because why not? He's got so many resources. He's pretty much at 80 supply already. What's the best thing you could buy in this marketplace? You can't see it, but uh, we have a mana potion. Meh. With a mass dried army, what's the best thing you could have? So the beast doesn't do anything. Mana potion is underwhelming. Heal pot, maybe? I guess big heal pot would be pretty good for his heroes. Heal scrolls, of course, are extremely good, but they are at the merchant. Speaking of heal scrolls, Moon has three. Yeah, mana pots for the Naga wouldn't be too bad, I guess. We can see her here. Lots of mana on her with a pendant. Did you buy the pendant? This Demon Hunter, really underwhelming this game, isn't it? Isn't he, I should say. Oh, wow. Chad, you're right. He went Searing Arrow level 2. What the hell? Are under that must be a misplay, right? There's no way this is better. Okay, now, <laughs> if he goes for Owl now. He goes for Owl! He's trolling, right? Right? A town is under siege. I wouldn't even have seen that. Good job, chat. Not going Aura 2. A player's forces are under attack. I have a tough time believing that that can in any way be stronger. But you know, in this game, you don't necessarily need plus 20% damage, plus 10% is just fine. By the way, bear's coming. Um, yeah, why not? Dude, Colorful's army has reached a pretty respectable size now. 65 supply. Colorful has managed to assemble another all-in, basically. What else do we have coming? Roar. Abolish? Hmm. What does he want to abolish for? Against enemy Riju, maybe? So, off we go. Tinker Bear's Demon. Let's see to this. Dude, this Demon isn't even close to four. Yeah, Roar will not be a thing. This is way too many Dryads with way too much Dispel. Dispel also instantly kills the Clockworks, but that... They do still damage, do still do damage when they get this card. All right, here we go. Pretty big bear front line now, which might be doing good damage to the Dryads. Moon is kiting back 
And hey, this fight is looking a lot better for colorful than the last one was. Oh, but when the bears are in focus, you can see how the damage is stacking up. Perhaps level 2 true shot wouldn't have been such so bad of an idea. But yeah, it's still more than enough damage. Bottom by now also has the purple venom. So now the level 2 searing arrow really doesn't make any sense anymore. In a bit of trouble, but there's always an invul to protect her. Moon has lost some dryads, but he has tons of reinforcements. This is about 55 supply left for Colorful. Not that much anymore. Can this demon finally get level 3? Yes, sir! Thank goodness. Clockwork oh. there got a kill on the dryad. With his kaboom. You know, considering the state of the game. Colorful is making this somewhat close. Problem is, he's still fighting one base versus two this whole time. And he doesn't have the insane hero level required to make such an attempt possible. So, back in we go again. The bears here for Moon I like quite a bit actually. They're tanking a lot in the front line to allow the dryads in the back to keep putting in the damage to stack up all that poison damage. 2-2 two, two upgrades versus 1-1 one, one upgrades and of course way superior numbers. Oh my god, this Demon Hunter is taking a beating from the focus fire. Jesus Christ. 5 on the Naga. Wow, she found a lot of kills. And that's it. GG. 1-0 for Moon. The player's forces are under attack. Podem Hunts Expo. We see this more and more nowadays. And Victoria's here again. Yeah, I feel like on Echo and on AZ, we see a lot of Podem Hunts. Also on Twisted. If we ever do go to Twisted, but it's very often vetoed, I would be shocked if Moon was to veto Twisted here in this Night of Mirror. But colorful very well might. You're Neo? I could have sworn you were emo? Yes, I am. Um, my streaming software is a little bit buggy, so all the text below I can't change. Also, uh, the running text you may notice is kind of out of date. Yeah, um, I haven't been able to fix that yet. But you can go ahead and follow Neo on Twitter as well, at Official. I'm sure he's going to be glad. Especially if you're into emo music, then uh, it's a great source of inspiration. Moon and Night of Mirror. Night of Mirror and Night of versus Orc. This is where Moon is looking really, really good recently, right? Against human, we see him struggle every now and then. Against Fortitude, the games, even the ones he won, I wouldn't say were ultra convincing. It more seemed like Fortitude was just extremely predictable and was running into open blades sometimes. So Moon now looking prime to make it out of this group in first place. If he also wins another map in this best of three here against Colorful. Can you tell me what that picture is? Well, I imagine you're talking about this one. Yeah, that's just, uh, that's just a Kappa face. Back in the day, the angle of the camera was a little bit different, so I would be like this, so my 
my head would be uh, hiding the kappa face in the back and then I would uh, lean over to reveal the kappa face to see if anybody would notice and nobody noticed for a long time until someone finally did. It was basically it was a little joke and uh, it has remained there ever since. I feel like it's kind of out of date. This has been hanging there at least two years. Um, the Twitch emote meta is pe long past Kappa. I, what are the, the most popular emotes I should put there? Keg W probably, right? Keg W? Maybe uh, Pippi Laugh or something? Problem is, I don't have a color printer. I only have a black and white printer, so... Those emotes don't really work in black and white, right? Good thing about Kappa is it, it is in its natural form, black and white. So the lobby is hosted. Players will be joining and then map two of our Night of Mirror will be coming up. We already know the matchups for the rest of the day. Race matchup wise, we're gonna have Night of Mirror now. Human Mirror after. Oh yeah, Human Mirror, Breaker Wars. You guys excited? And then Night of versus Human again for the third time today. Don't know who that's going to be yet. But by the looks of it, it may be colorful. Moon was looking really impressive in game one in the sense that he always seemed to know what to do. And... How do I say this? Um, I wouldn't say he was ahead at all points in the game. But it seemed like he knew exactly what he needed to do to win the game. If only he followed his game plan, if that makes sense. And Colorful was uh, not able to change that paradigm. So our next map is coming up. Map 2 is concealed. Hill. This is going to be a podium again, or what do we have? Uh, one second. Alright. Let's pop in. Colorful from the top. Right in the red. Moon this time in the blue once again with the bottom. Starting off a ring with a ring that is not exactly ideal. Even though gloves and mantle also not the greatest. Second ancient of war. Okay. All players' forces are under attack. N A Night of Mirror. Double ancient of war. Tier one mass hunts. Let's do this. Ultra vision coming in nice and early. The town is under siege. The bottom so far has not taken too much damage, but with a nice archer block. Oh, oh, okay, decent archer block. That might change. But the good thing on this map is we have health fountains, which can be especially helpful for huntresses. Oftentimes, with Huntresses, you accrue a certain number. Five, six, maybe seven hunts, and that's when you're pretty strong. You force an engagement, you have a good engagement, you save your low HP hunts, but then it's hard to heal them up again, because normally that takes too much Moon Juice to heal up all your hunts. But, unconcealed, with Fountains, there's free healing. Isn't that nice? Oh, what's going on here? 
Simultaneous creeping. Two hunts, one archer to creep, <clears throat> and the potum to distract. Does Colorful sniff this out now? That's the question. A player's forces are Oh, it looks like he absolutely is realizing what's happening. Nice heads up play by Colorful, but he's on time to contest the three level three guys in the back. So that's all experience to the bottom. That is level two. Hmm. So how much can Colorful really do here, actually? With four hunts coming in, that's a lot of normal damage against the Demon Hunter. Yeah. And this just is a great play, isn't it? You creep with the hunts down here. If the Demon comes in to harass, he can't do much. He's only level two. Not that scary. And if the archers come in to harass you, that exposes the archers out on the map, which can oftentimes lead to easy... Uh, overwhelming by the huntresses. If the archers are caught out on the map, hunts can just make quick work of them oftentimes. And then when the archers' numbers are too low, a huntress pushed towards the main can perhaps... Easily cost you the game. This just looks like a, a pretty smart opening. Under pretty smart build here by Moon so far. Quite similar to Echo Isles. It's Podum, Hunts, and to Expo. But slower tech this time, faster expansion and creep this time. But the tech isn't even so slow, as you can see here. Tier 2 is coming. A town is under siege. Oh, bottom with the telly staff. What can she do? Into the main. Oh, and that's going to be some lower cancels right here. Oh, and the shadow melt block. Tinker tosses the packed factory into the back. Where is the demon? He is nowhere to be found. He needs to get the attack. dust first, then staff back. But that's so much time. This lore should finish, though. Yeah, okay. This lore finishes. There's only one lore canceled. That shadow melt block, though. So here comes the demon. Oh, and guess what? A counter block. So this might be some units going down for Moon. No, it's not. Everything saved over here. This huntress makes it out as well. Okay, colorful. Once again, just like map one, you find yourself on the back foot pretty early on. And this time, there's no tier three, no bears. A player's forces in the late game back. to rely on. If he goes Searing Arrow level 2 here again... Then I wonder, what the hell is going on? Where is he going to go for Aura now? <laughs> okay, it's Aura this time. It's Aura this time. Seems like earlier may have just been a misclick. Or a bit of trolling. The player's forces are under attack. Unfortunately, I cannot change the score. It says 0-0, zero, zero, but it is 1-0 for Moon. I don't know why, guys, but... Uh... Tallies. Dark Ranger second. No Naga this time. A player's forces are under attack. Oh, this block against the demon. Enough damage for the cancel. Would be pretty nice if we can get it. It's close. But he doesn't get it. Needed calls of attack as well. Tier 3 is coming, beer production has started, but once again, this is going to be a lot more production for Moon, it should be. Double lowers, I guess a little bit late. Well, not late in the sense that he forgot to make them, but later than on map 1. Robo the Magi, that is probably the worst item from this camp Moon could have gotten. That's right, good experience. Dark Rain level 2. Is this... Life Drain, maybe? 
He hasn't chosen yet. Life train wouldn't be too bad, right? Counter expansion. But quick scout here with the scout once again. Demon is trying to be annoying. Trying to force Moon back, but Moon is not taking the bait. A player's force is that creeping up on the high ground at the red? Oh, this could be a juicy creepjack opportunity now, though. That colorful is not going up onto the hill. This is the big item drop. Helm of Valor for Moon. Decent for his agi heroes, but not the big aura he was hoping for. With 63 supply. Is he gonna TP back to his expansion? He did rebuy the TP, so that would be possible. Oh my god, how much damage is this demon hunter taking? Jesus Christ! Looks like he had alchemist armor right there. Skeletons in the north. I don't think that's enough damage to force the cancel. So this is all distraction here by Colorful, trying to buy time for his second base to come up. And Moon was forced back. Is he Tinker level Players 3 by the way? Are under yes he is, okay. And Pendant of Energy, so... Lots of Pocket Factory! But Parliament Hunts making their way north. That should be enough to get the cancel, I believe. Bears might be pretty strong, but they're certainly not very slow. Mobility here in favor of Moon. And yeah, this is definitely enough for the cancel. Colorful cancel? He lets it finish. That is just simply a lot of gold down the drain. And with that, suddenly it feels like Colorful is completely all in. Moon TP's home. 25 supply lead for the Korean. The win here would be him making it into the top four, where he would most likely be going up against uh, one to zero, who made it in second place out of Group B. Good positioning here on the archers. Pock factory also nicely to the side, not so easy to snipe. But the bear is trying to drop low. One bear is gonna die. Colorful feels forced to TP out. I'm taking out the pocket factory, surprisingly. Okay, now. Yes. Demon Hunter again, not level 3 for the longest time, just like on Echo Isles. No life drain, by the way, unfortunately. It is. Dark Ranger, 78 supply, my lord. No tier 3 transition this time by Moon, just more Dryads, more upgrades. The concave here is massive for Moon. How many heal scores does he have? Where's the Dark Ranger? Two heal scrolls, if I saw that right. And well, the numbers are just greatly, greatly, too greatly it seems in favor of Moon. Taking out the back line with one part of his army and the Dryads dealing on the other side with the Bears. Good engagement by Moon. Not that he really needed to micro this so well, he was so far ahead anyways. Getting more and more bad kills. More and more experience. Moon is hardly dropping in supply. Pocket Factory is actually looking pretty nice here. I can see the value of Pocket Factory against this pot of mass. And the Tinker even gets level 4, still has mana to use. But Colorful has dropped down to 46 supply. Moon still up at 80. Not letting the macro slip here at all. Funneling in 
production round after production round. And keeps being a nuisance. Running around the map, finding free kills here and there. Saving low HP dryads to the fountain. In the right, on the right and on the left. Now he can buy a TP, which he did. New heal scrolls, creep this camp and TP back to the expo if you need to. Did he intentionally leave dryads here to dispel against the clockworks? That would be pretty sick. So we mask. Not very useful, but it's level 5 pot him. Did he go for the troll owl? No, he didn't. Level 3 true shot. No kidding around anymore. Dryads have plus 7 damage. That's a lot of damage. Only thing Moon is kind of missing slash forgetting here is armor upgrades. But again, that shouldn't become too costly as far ahead as Moon is. Zeppelin drop could find a snipe on the tree, actually. Now the question is, how effective is that really going to be? Did Moon just scan blindly and almost see the Zeppelin? I think he did. So, in we... Oh, he's surrounding his own tree with wisps. He's expecting this bear drop. That Tinker is quite surrounded. Two Dryads die instantly. Demon needs to save his friend. Oh, no staff on the Tinker. He's dead. So is most of Colorful's army. Gets the level three. But does he get the tree? I'm not sure. Oh, he's trying hard. Demon is dead. Oh, that's a lot of damage on these drives. That's it. GG. 2-0 for Moon. Makes it out of group eight. Place.